So this is my uh, homemade planer uh, slash saw, I guess, because it's got a uh, saw set up inside there too. Um, I took this sticker off of a tool I bought. I don't really use this so much. Anyways, looks pretty good there, huh? Um, this is just regular press board all the way around and it's uh, covering a, the frame so the frame is really beefy because I just wanted to make it real strong you can tell by the way the table is this was just a piece of steel I, uh, I found and I cut these grooves in you can see here because uh, I figured it might help with uh, cutting down on friction I don't know if it does or not but it works um, I think you recognize that's a flywheel from a car. Um, let's see. Inside. So my outfeed rollers. And my infeed rollers. Uh, this was just regular, um, I think it's 3 inch pipe. And I welded uh, plates and uh, the axles on the end here, you can see. Uh, and then I had to cut these grooves. I didn't have a, uh, uh, I don't know how you call it, a milling machine, I guess. So I had to use a grinder with a very good blade. I think it was a dual blade. And uh, I put it on my table saw with a jig and I cut all these grooves to help at pulling the material and it actually works pretty good. I don't know how long they last. This is the main thing, the main reason I built this machine. It's the cutter head I bought from Bird Tools, I think, in, uh, in the States. It's, I think it's called Shellix or something like that. It's the big 24 inch one. A ton of knives on it, but uh, they're really good quality and works really, really nice. Uh, okay, my outfit rollers. The reason I used two was that I'll have a roller here to pull the material when I use the, the saw. And having two here, I just went for two over here too. I don't know why. I know if it so better job than one. I don't think it makes much of a difference, but looks better anyways, right? See? The saw, the, the saw blades, they just slide back and forth because the axle has a uh, groove milled in. This is just regular stock I bought from uh, I think it was Princess Auto in Canada. The same was with the, all the sprockets, the, not, the hubs, the, the bearings, and all this stuff. All the bearings are, are the same. As you can see there's a ton of them, so that's good because when uh, these will burn out, the ones from the color head, I'll have uh, plenty to replace. Uh, these are just two hardened bolts with uh, springs. I tried all kinds of different setups, starting with uh, uh, valve springs, and I ended up using these really small springs, which seem to work the best. Uh, this plate here, it's really springy. So it allows the, the, um, the bearing to go up and down. And the reason I did that is because uh, the chain is pulling on the, on the whole roller and it used to get jammed on these bolts. So using that plate there, it, it, it just keeps it from, from moving. So you'll, it will only go up and down, not side to side. 
Uh, it took me a while to figure that out, but now it's done, so it works pretty good. Um, chain, uh, chains are really big because I didn't know what to use, so I just went with a really big one just to be safe. They're all connected. You can see. And down there is the, there's a small electric uh, engine with a um, reduction gear on it and that's the thing that pulls that turns all, all these rollers mm. let's see what else uh, the saw has its own uh, engine I think it's a 5 kilowatt and the planer has a uh, I think 7 horse so it will be like a 5 kilowatt uh, engine somewhere down there in the bottom it's a fairly big one but same thing I didn't want to undersize and then have it getting stuck or something I'm using I'm actually using the whole length of the of the cutter head because I'm um, I'm doing edge glued panels and once I take them out of the press I just run them through this thing and the sander has almost nothing left to do. Okay, let's turn it on a little bit. So over here will be, this is for the saw, this is for the, so this will be the rollers going first. I see them spinning. I wish I could adjust this speed so that it goes faster when I use the saw. But um, I gotta buy some kind of a inverter or something like that, and I, I just didn't want to bother. So this speed is kind of in in the middle. It's a little fast for the planer, but it's kind of slow for the for the saw. It's still way faster than any other commercial. Uh, planner you can buy, I'm pretty sure, I mean, you can tell. Okay, and then I don't know if there's any point in turning the planner on because you're not going to see anything. And so I can choose, I either turn the planner on or I turn the, the saw on and both use the rollers. Um, it's just a matter of adjusting the table a little bit lower so that the cutter head, the cutter head doesn't catch the board while the saw is cutting it. Or I can use both in the same time, just plane the board and rip it down. I mainly use this for ripping uh, white boards in two equal pieces for gluing, and before I put it in the in the dryer. So that I, I don't have to worry about splits and stuff. Okay, and, uh, this is my uh, what you might call it exhaust system. You see, it goes all the way to that machine, and all those other tools are connected to it. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, the saw has its own thing here for uh, for dust because it, it just pushes the dust down and I just all I have to do is connect this hose to the exhaust system up there as a little ventilation yeah well that's about it I don't know what else to tell you other than the fact that the cutter head is really, really good, so if you have the money, just buy one. Because it's, it's totally worth it. Like this, this machine is almost new. It's not bad, but it's, you, know, it, you can't compare it with the other one. And uh, the first day I nicked one of the knives. Well, actually all four of them. And I think it was in a knot. Not even a nail or anything like that.